So this video is going to be kind of craft related, kind of vloggy style. Um, basically I am planning a mini birthday party for my boyfriend and I am doing it around a kind of Harry Potter theme. He loves Harry Potter, he isn't like obsessed with it to the point of everything is Harry Potter but he definitely loves it. So this year for his birthday I asked him what he wanted and he said not much. He didn't he didn't really have didn't really have a list so I was like great. I decided to do a kind of birthday party, decorate the house, make some Harry Potter inspired treats and stuff and just surprise him really because he has no clue I'm doing this. I have tried to keep this on the down low as much as possible. I decided to put this together last Friday. So basically a week before his birthday, um, which probably wasn't the best idea, but I have managed to sort a few things out already, so I'm kind of on track. I am trying to do this on a budget, so I'm doing a lot of DIY stuff, which I thought you guys might enjoy seeing. I'm going to update you on the stuff I've got sorted already, and then I'm actually going to town to pick up a few more things, so I'll update you on that when I'm back from town. Um, so first of all, actually, I had a few things arrive in the post today. This is one of them. This isn't actually Harry Potter specifically. This is Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. This is a Niffler. We haven't actually seen Fantastic Beasts yet. We wanted to see it at the cinema and we just never got around to seeing it. I was going to get him the film and do like a movie night, but the film doesn't come out until March. So I got this off Etsy and it is going to be one of his presents. Um, this was the Etsy shop. The other thing that arrived today was this and this is for hanging up keys. So yesterday these arrived from eBay. I can't remember how much I spent on them. I did not spend a ton because I'm not spending a ton on stuff. I don't think they were much. I think they were about fiver and there's about 70 keys in here. But I'm going to make some flying keys to hang up around the room. And obviously I want them to look like they're flying and there's nothing holding them up. So that's why I got this. I don't know what it's like technical name is but it's kind of like fishing wire. So this is the other thing I have handmade. These were printables and I found them I think I found them on DeviantArt. So I just printed them onto cards and cut them out and then I made little windows. I'm not going to be filling these with the gross jelly beans. I'm actually going to buy a mixture of the jelly belly ones and the normal kind of cheap ones because I prefer to spend money on ones we're going to eat rather than ones which we're likely to spit out. So yeah. So I've made three of these boxes. Obviously I've left one of the flaps open so you can get into it. They were pretty easy to make. I just used a craft knife and scissors to cut them out. The last thing I got through the post yesterday was this. I got this on eBay second hand and I'm actually going to use this to make bunting out of. So yes I will be cutting this up. I will be completely demolishing it. But yeah I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to put it on this string so it looks like it's just floating or if I'm going to get some twine or something. I'm not sure yet. Yeah I chose like one of the biggest Harry Potter books so I had enough there and like I said I just got it second hand on eBay for about £3 I think which I think is a pretty good price considering I'm going to make it into bunting and buying actual bunting would cost probably more than that. So yeah that is my plans hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. I've been completely buried in Pinterest the past few days trying to find stuff and ideas and inspiration to put this together. I found that there's not very many savoury treats. There's a lot of like sweet treats and sweets and stuff like that and chocolate but there isn't very much Harry Potter inspired food food rather than sweets so I think I'm gonna have to just get normal food and then just kind of label it Harry Potter inspired. I saw someone who had cheese puffs or what's it's and they called them Hufflepuffs. So I think I might have to go along that route. Plus, I don't want to overbuy food because it's basically going to be me and Jack. So yeah, I'm going to go to town now and pick up a few things. I'll update you when I'm home and I'll show you what I bought and what I'm going to do with it. So I am now back from town and I'm going to go through all the stuff I bought. So when I asked him if he wanted a cake for his birthday, he said he didn't. He wanted brownies. Not sure if he was joking or if he wasn't bothered or what, but I got brownie mix because <laughs> that is what he last said to me. So that is what I'm going with. I think I will probably just pile them up and put candles on them or something. And then I had to buy a tray because we don't have any sort of baking supplies at all. I then went down the party section in Tesco's and I found some white balloons which I'm actually going to draw owls onto. I'm not going to be able to put helium in them and have them floating around as much as I'd love to. Um, I just don't have the time or money to do that. So I'm probably just going to tie them and put little bunches around the room or something. It's just something a little bit extra and obviously these were only like a quid so yeah, <laughs> not too expensive. I found a tablecloth which is gold. I then found these which is what I was mainly looking for when I was looking down the party section. They're just silver trays and you get three in this pack so I'll just have them on the table with 
the various snacks and stuff that I've got. I also found these, which are black wine glasses. They looked kind of goblety and just something extra to have on the table for looks. So I got some Ferrero Rochers and Maltesers to put on one tray. These are going to be snitches and then that's kind of to represent the other balls. I got some jelly in different flavours, so kind of different colours, mainly just for some extra colour on the table. I got some popcorn and I was going to try and dye it with food colouring to make them green and I was going to call them troll bogeys but I wasn't sure on whether the food colouring would make them go soggy plus I couldn't find any food colouring. I bought this anyway because I will eat it if not but I think I might have a little play around and see if I can do something else with them. Whether I can find some other creature in Harry Potter that I'll be able to connect these two, I don't know. I then got a load of jelly beans for the Bertie Bot boxes. These were three for a pound. I had a look at them and I thought three packs would probably fill one box. So I got nine packs of jelly beans. That kind of works out like I've paid one pound for a Harry Potter themed jelly bean box because obviously the printable was free and I just handmade them so the box didn't cost me anything. So yeah, that's how I kind of worked it out and justified it in my head, even though it seems like a lot of beans. I then got some of these because they're kind of weird looking and I'll probably be able to find something to do with those. I got some matchmakers in the two flavours that Jack likes and these are just going to be chocolate ones. I found these which I'm not sure what I'm going to like name them as yet. They are new so I've never tried them before so they might be gross but I thought I'd be able to connect them to some sort of Harry Potter thing <laughs> um, seeing as they've got some goo or something coming out of the middle of them. And the heating has just decided to come on so I'm sorry if it's noisy in the background now. Um, but I'm almost done. I got a load of dip dabs because of the sherbet. For some reason, nowhere seems to sell just sherbet on its own. There's like the sherbet fountains, but I looked at like the weight and stuff and I was like, they cost the same and the grams wasn't much different and I prefer these. I don't really like licorice. So I now be able to eat the lollies because I just want the sherbet. But I thought I'd fill a little jar with the sherbet and just call it flu powder. And then I just got some sherbet lemons because they have sherbet lemons in Harry Potter. So that is my little food sweet haul from today. I'm actually not sure where I'm going to hide this all. I'm going to have to find another box or something because Jack cannot know I've just bought all of this stuff. So it's the next day now and I didn't film yesterday, like the end of yesterday, because I ended up Skyping with my family and I basically just showed them everything I got. I kind of caught up with them and stuff because I haven't talked to them for ages. And then it got to around six o'clock and that was the time that Jack was due home and I had everything out on my desk. I had literally everything, as in if Jack had walked in, it would have all been over. So yeah, I quickly packed everything away and then Jack got home and so I didn't end up filming anymore. But this morning he's gone to work at 8 o'clock and he won't be here until 6 o'clock. So I have some time to get some stuff done and get some crafty things made. I think I am going to pop to town and get a few more bits because there was a few things that I just could not carry yesterday that I really wanted to get. Also, these arrived yesterday as well whilst I was on Skype to my family. And these are, I'll show you, hold on. I have a load of jars in different sizes and I'm just going to put labels on them and put different sweets and stuff in them. So they'll look quite fun sitting on the table all kind of mismatched together and like different heights and different shapes and stuff. So before I go to town I'm actually going to make labels for all these. I found a Harry Potter font on defont.com that I'm going to download and use. Yeah I'm going to do that and then I think I'm going to start cutting the bunting from the book. So I'm on this website which is defont.com um, I use this at college all the time for my own media course and these are the fonts that come up so there's obviously this one which I'm going to use there's this one, which is obviously all the characters, but I don't need that one, so I'm just going to download this one. And this one is 100% free, which means that you can use it basically anywhere. So I've downloaded the font and I'm now on Google Images looking for parchment paper print. I just need an image of parchment paper that I can use for the background so they look aged. Obviously, if I had more time, I would probably try dyeing my own paper. And then I could scan it in and use it, but I really just want something quick. I only have like a few days to pull this off. Image, but I'm going to need two hands. I'll get back to you when I've kind of figured this out, I think. I've just had Jack's main presents arrive and I've decided to wrap them in brown paper. Um, this is just the Hobbit box set because he wanted that. It's not really Harry Potter related, obviously. But this is what I'm going to give him on his actual birthday along with the Niffler print. So he will think that that is all he's got for his birthday from me. And then obviously when I do the party, I will have this present for him, which is Marauder's Map. This was relatively pricey and it is going to be his main present. But all I'm going to do with them now is wrap them in brown paper. And I want to just wrap them in brown twine. But I don't know if I've got any that's long enough. These are all like 
short sections. I think it'll be long enough to go around one width of the present. Yeah, if not, I'll just have to use some black and white or something. I now have to somehow hide these Amazon boxes because I didn't really think that through. If I put it downstairs with the rest of our cardboard recycling, he will get an idea that I've been buying stuff from Amazon and if he sees a box that big, he's going to expect something. So then if I give him something that big, then although actually saying that, Amazon tend to do that quite a lot. They do massive boxes with like a pen inside, but I don't want to risk anything. So I'm going to have to like fold them up and hide them somewhere under my desk. This is what they've ended up looking like. I managed to find a really long piece of twine in my twine box. And this one I tied two bits of twine together to make one long piece so I could wrap it all the way around. Yeah, those are like his birthday birthday presents. And then this is like the special party Harry Potter theme present. I don't know if I want to give him any clues when I give him these presents as to what's coming next week. So far, all I've said is, please, can you get the day off so I can book something? So I have a feeling he thinks I'm booking a table somewhere to go out for a little date evening, birthday celebration, pre-Valentine's date. I'm now going to go back to doing the labels. I only stopped doing the labels because this arrived like a few minutes ago and I wanted to get it sorted because I haven't a clue where I'm going to hide this box. And also this load of paper which came in the box. I just finished cutting out all of these from the first page. Still have more that I need to print, but yeah, I'll get to them later. So this is sort of how they're gonna look when they're stuck on. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna stick them on with. I think double-sided tape is probably my best bet. And if it gets sticky, then I can just use like nail varnish remover or something to get the sticky off. But I obviously don't wanna ruin these jars. I want to be able to reuse them. I Googled spider eggs and I completely regret Googling it because it is just, Oh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Popcorn kind of resembles spider eggs, so I'm just going to have them in a jar with some of these plastic spiders in there. I think I'm going to have the chocolate ones and golden snitches on a tray. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not quite sure. What I am going to do is take all this stuff downstairs in a minute and see how I can set it out on the table so I can get an idea of how much it fills the table and if I need to get other random things to fill the table with. So I've just kind of roughly put everything on the table to try and figure out where I'm gonna put everything and if it's full enough, like if it will look full enough. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these jars yet, but I feel like I do have enough to kind of make something of a centerpiece with them. Because I don't really wanna decorate two rooms because we don't really have this room finished. My plan is to have the keys hanging from under here and then obviously have the bunting going around this room. I've closed this because I got so paranoid <laughs> that Jack was gonna go home. There's something sitting on our chimney. I think it's sitting anyway, it better not be in there. Oh my god, what if there's something actually in my chimney? No, there's nothing in there. It's on the top of the chimney. We're good, we're good. I want to put most of the decorations in this room. I don't really want to decorate that room because it's not really being used. I'm probably going to swap the dining table with this sofa, like put this sofa in that room for now, and then just have the table coming out here. So we've kind of got this room as like the little party room oh and i've also got the balloons to decorate as headwigs to put around the room places and obviously this will have the gold tablecloth on and i will most likely make some scatters from the harry potter book i don't think i'm going to use all of this for the bunting i'll have some left over so i was just going to get a punch like a circle punch or something and punch out some little confetti bits from it and obviously his present as well will be on the table so yeah so one of the other things i want to figure out is if i can attach feet to these balloons i'm not gonna have a chance to get helium or anything i'm planning to draw hedwig or like an owl on the front of these but my mum came up with the idea of if i cut out cardboard feet to put on the bottom then it kind of weigh them and they'd be like little things to put around the room i'm gonna try and start on the bunting because i feel like I'll have to do a lot of this. I'm not quite sure yet how much I need, so I'm just going to do as much as I can, cut out as many triangles as I can, and go from there and hopefully like measure it around the room whilst Jack's not here.
so to stick the bunting to the really really thin invisible string I have cut a thin strip of double sided tape and stuck it at the top and then I just peel the backing off of that and then I stick the string section onto it and then I just fold that strip in half not by much because I don't want to lose much of the triangle and then I might trim these end bits off but I'll do that at the end rather than doing it as I go and then that's what the bunting ends up looking like it kind of looks like it's floating So I've done a bit of the bunting but I'm having a break from that because my hands are turning black, my desk is turning black. I'm going to have a go at making wings for these keys. I'm not yet sure how I'm going to hang them um, or how I'm going to attach the string to them. I'm assuming I'll just tie them but some of them have like bigger ends. I'm not sure how the weight is going to go on them. So I'm going to go through them and pick out all the ones which aren't too fancy. There's ones like this which say love on them which I don't really want to use. But obviously there's more like original looking ones like this. This one with the wings is too bad either. Okay, so these are the keys I'm going to use, these ones I'm not going to use. So I saw this technique on a YouTube video and I am going to copy it because it seemed very simple. All I'm going to do is use this image of butterfly wings which is just from Google. I'm going to print it off in about three different sizes because all of these keys are like different sizes. Then I'm going to laminate a few sheets of just nothing, like just so I have the plastic um, because I don't have any acetate or anything. And I'm going to trace the different sized wings for all the different keys and then cut them out. So I managed to make a flying key. I did try a few things. I tried string, I tried glue and I tried clear tape and clear tape seems to be the one which has worked the best um, and that's to attach obviously the wings. I've just used more of the see-through like fishing wire stuff to attach to each end so it kind of balances okay. I've attached it from one end and the other end and made like a loop so it can hang from my finger but having it as a loop means that I can adjust like the angle of it so when I eventually hang them all up I can choose whether I want them like pointing upwards, pointing down, straight. So now I'm just going to make another one and show you how I made it. So I have all my different size wings on here and I use it as like a template to see which ones would fit best on which keys. I'm doing this one so I trace that one onto the laminated sheet and now I'm going to cut the wings out. And to attach them I basically, I don't know how long that is, like almost two inches, I cut a little section off which is a centimetre and I just kind of hold that back um, and the bigger piece I lay with the sticker side up. I've stuck the edge of one wing on one end and I leave a gap in the middle so the key can sit in there and then I just place the key in the middle. I know this is really hard for you guys to see, I'm really sorry about that. And then in the middle I've opened it up a bit and that little section that I cut off earlier of tape I'm just sticking in the middle to make sure it's all secure. And that's that's basically it. <laughs> I've just got back from town and I've bought a few more bits for Jack's party. I say party, it's not really a party, it's just gonna be like me and him. There were a few things I forgot yesterday, so was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was the day before. I This week has just disappeared on me, so I don't know where I'm at with it. But, so I grabbed this from Tesco's because we don't have a cooling tray, and I completely forgot if I'm making the brownies, then I'm not gonna have anywhere for them to cool down. I'm just gonna have to like put them on a plate or something. I found some mini eggs in the bigger pack because for some reason they do these itty bitty packs now which have like five eggs in. Um, for like a pound and it just seems so ridiculous. This pack was three pounds, but there is 328 grams in it 
and it feels like there's a lot of eggs in there. So I put those in a jar with, I don't know, dragon eggs or something on like a label. Picked up more of these because they don't have like a lot of sherbet in a pack. So I wanted to make sure I had enough sherbet to kind of not fill one of those jars, but like fill it enough so it looks like something in there. I found some Freddo frogs. So I am gonna make some chocolate frog boxes and just put them in it. Obviously they're not gonna resemble the proper chocolate frogs, but it's the best that I could do and it's the cheapest that I could do. I got some Watsits so I can do the Hufflepuffs in a jar. I got some of these because that's just kind of party food. It's just something else to fill a bowl on the table. I got more of the popcorn that Jack likes and he last night went to Tesco's himself and picked himself up a bag of this popcorn. Obviously I'm planning to do the spider eggs jar, so this is meant to look like a little cluster of spider eggs. I was tempted to wait until obviously Monday and just use the popcorn that he bought, but I don't know if he's going to eat it all <laughs> over the weekend. It's his birthday, I bought him the Hobbit box set and I know we're going to be watching films, so yeah. I don't know if it was going to be gone and I won't have time to pick up any more and it was only a pound, so picked up some more of that, he will eat it, whatever, like whether I use it or not. I got this for today because he doesn't have birthday cake like an official one, he obviously doesn't know that I'm doing the party on Monday and I don't want him to go without some sort of cake on his actual birthday. So I bought this tiny little Thornton's chocolate cake which was like £3.50 or something. We're both not massive chocolate fans so yeah, it was better to get like a dinky cake that we can just have a little bite of. And then I got some candles as well to put in it. I found these which were on clearance, which I think they're tart moulds. Um, but I was tempted to try them as jelly moulds. But they have like this hole in the top, so if I get some jellies made like that, I could always put one of the Ferrero Rocher snitches in the top or something. Or some chocolate eggs or something, I don't know something will fit in that top bit. I got the balloon pump because yesterday I failed at blowing the balloons up. I got eggs because obviously the brownie mix needs eggs and I almost forgot them. I had to go back to Morrison's after I'd been there and the woman was like, did you forget something? And then last of all, I managed to find a golden egg. Well, I think it's golden. It shows it golden on the package. Don't know if it's actually golden. I'm gonna open it up and have a look, I think. But this was £1.50 and I thought that was pretty reasonable. Considering most of the Easter eggs there were like, you know, verging on £10 or something. So there we go, it's a golden egg. So that'll look pretty on the table. So yeah, that's my little haul for today. I'm gonna go and hide this all upstairs. I'm gonna keep that in the fridge, I think, because he likes his chocolate cold. But the rest of it I need to get hidden because he cannot know I have bought this stuff. Don't know where I'm gonna hide a big bag of Watsits, but hey ho. <laughs> So this is where I'm at with Jack's surprise party thing. So first of all I have three of these which are the ones I printed off and then I've just filled with jelly beans. I have two jars of spider eggs which are two different flavours of popcorn. One is one that I like and the other one is Jack's favourite popcorn. We have Hufflepuffs, 
Raven Twirls, Flue Powder, Lud Pops, Norwegian Ridgeback Eggs, Sherbet Lemons, Gummy Worms, Chocolate Wands, and there's two different flavours there. I just need to print off another label for that one. And then Snake Eyes. I also have Pomegranate Juice and Pumpkin Juice, which will be going on the two jellies that I've got downstairs, obviously setting in the fridge. Yeah, those will go on the two jars. I've got their lids. That's their lids there, which looks slightly rude. <laughs> the Snake Eyes are the Maynard's Bassett's Juicy Chews, and they're basically just a white sweet with gooey stuff on the inside. They obviously would look better out of the packaging because this has branding on and stuff. They're likely to get all stuck together if I have them out of the packaging, so I've just left them in, and they look colourful anyway. I made brownies. The kitchen now stinks of chocolate, which I've been trying to air out. I have the window open down there. It's snowing outside, but... I've opened the window because I can't have it stinking of chocolate because he'll click on that something's like happening. In these boxes I still have the Ferrero Rochers which I need to print the wings off for. I don't think I showed this yesterday but I did manage to make a little Hedwig balloon and I've attached it to his last present which is the Marauder's Map um, and I'll just have that sitting on the table as well. I decided not to do a ton of them because I cannot hide these. Um, this is how I'm hiding this one at the moment just in case he comes in my office. And then back there I have all the flying keys that I've made hung up. Again I'm trying to hide them out the way under my desk so he can't see when he comes in. I can't put them in a box because they're on the like really fine string. I don't want to get them all tangled. From. It's the official one. It's from Noble's collection, the Noble collection, even which is the people who supply for Warner Brothers Studios and stuff. <laughs> so it's the proper, proper jobby one. It's very big, isn't it? It is very big. <laughs> <laughs> 